I gotta do my intro. Okay. Do you know my intro? Do you wanna do my intro? I don't know your intro. You know what it is. My my YouTube intro. <laughs> no, well you gotta say the first part. I don't know what it's what Yes you do. Saying? What do I do? Pretend like you're me. Hey guys, this is Jason Napier. <laughs> no, no. I don't know what you say, say. You know, what's up guys? It's Jason with MP3D, you know. And then I start the video and then I punch the thing and then I do it. Can you do it? Here we yeah. go. <laughs> Today's video, all about quarantine. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop. No, introduce it. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Oh, no, let me get ready, ready, and go. What's up, guys? This is Sarah Napier with NP3D, and here we go. You gotta tell them what we're talking about. Today we're talking about quarantine. Today we're talking about- No, no, you gotta start it over. Go, ready? What's up, guys? This is Sarah Napier with NP3D. Just tell me your first name. Oh Don't give them your whole name. We're... <laughs> What's up, guys? This is Sarah with NP3D, and today we're talking about quarantine. All right, so first off, let's just go on the record and say this is the very first time a lot of you guys have gotten to see my wife in my videos, and maybe she can explain to you why she doesn't get in on here. Because I'm usually a very shy, quiet person, but quarantine has done me in. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, it's, this is kind of, we thought this video would be fun for you guys. One, for her to be on here, and then two, just to kind of talk about what quarantine's been like for us. So give, so both of us are teachers, so kind of give them the background of what's been going on. I know you guys kind of know, but go ahead. Well, first of all, we really do want to say thank you to all those people who still have to work, especially healthcare workers, first responders. We appreciate you. Grocery store workers, yeah. truck drivers. We appreciate you guys, for yeah. real. You're not getting paid enough. I, I'd like to give you a raise, but... <laughs> But we can't because we're teachers. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Have, so tell everybody kind of what we've been doing. Now this is actually spring break for us right now. It is. It's yeah. spring break. So um, so basically our days we have nothing to do, nothing planned. We've been trying to clean out the house a little bit at a time. A little bit. We've been trying to talk him into doing the garage, doing a dump run. Okay, this is not a video for that. This is about what we're doing, what we are doing, not what I we're avoiding. <laughs> Because that it may be what I we did yard work. Okay, so straight off, I am not a yard work kind of guy. That's not my thing. I'm nerdy. I like to do I like to do nerdy stuff. I don't like to do dirty stuff. <laughs> that's that's so bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm not an out I'm an outdoorsy guy. I like to hunt and fish. If I'm getting dirty doing those things, I'm in. But if I have to go out and cut grass and weed eat and pull stuff and mulch, I'm not. I'm not, that's not me. I, I want to pay people to do that. He's a hoarder. He is a collector. I'm an OCD organizational freak, so we just... So I'm a hoarder and you're a freak? <laughs> so yeah, that that's, that's it. So what I've been doing, so it's really difficult for me because there's all kinds of things that I could occupy my time with like making YouTube videos and things like that. But I feel so guilty, just being honest. I feel so guilty coming down here and doing all this fun stuff. And then my wife is upstairs stuck with two crazy dogs. <laughs> two crazy dogs. And, and here's the thing, if I make any noise down here at all that's like uh, odd to them, they will bark like crazy. Like I'm really glad they're upstairs. We put them in their crate. This is the first time they've probably been in their crate and hours like 24 to 48 hours i'm sure they're yeah they're, they're a full-time commitment <laughs> <laughs> well max is our dog max is 12 so he's he's a good boy he's a sweet boy but we decided to get a puppy and she's now about 10 months old i guess that doesn't make her a puppy anymore i don't think i don't know i think it's just an excuse crazy. for all the time she poops all over the house she's nuts yes we've, she's we've forgotten puppyhood and from now on, we're only going to adopt adult dogs, senior dogs. <laughs> I, I would. I don't even know about senior. I would love to adopt like plush dogs, plushies. 
like the owl you were playing with earlier. Like oh the, my goodness, like yeah. a fake dog. Yes, I'll take a fake dog. But anyway, what we, we love her though. She's we sweet. do. She's super sweet. But a lot of you guys have not seen my wife on the channel, just kind of sparingly. But she's hilarious. Like the thing about it is, what's funny for me is that my wife is super duper funny. Like but no one gets to see it but me. It's kind of like a secret. She's got a secret identity uh, that she doesn't share with anybody else but like me, which honestly is a huge compliment. But at the same time, I, for years, I'm talking, we've been together 20 plus years now, and I tell my friends how hilarious my wife is, and some have gotten to see it, and they're just shocked at how hilarious she is because she's, honestly, she's like super shy, and I'm shocked I actually got her down here, so <laughs> you know she's bored. But for quarantine, she's been cleaning, she's been organizing, and she's been straightening up everything. And and in that, she's like, her favorite phrase is teamwork. Makes the dream work. Makes the dream work. And I'm so sick of hearing that phrase. She's probably just hearing that for the first time right now. But like, it's like basically her way of getting the whole group in. Like she literally makes us put our hands in the middle of this thing and say, go Napiers. And like. Because Joshua is turning into you. Joshua, our, our child, he's 19 years that's old. That's a compliment, okay? And. <laughs> that's a compliment. It is a compliment. You do realize in the people that watch, ways, the, the people that compliment. watch this channel are actually my, my, the people that follow me. They're not people who hate on me. You're a great guy. I said it is a compliment in many ways. You are married to me. <laughs> I don't so. have my ring on. Oh no! <laughs> well, I don't have mine on either. Put that down slowly. Okay, so yeah, just pretend we showed you some big rings that we have on. I don't wear mine because I, I, I'm a PE teacher and when I lost a lot of weight, every time I'll go talk and I'm real handsy when I talk, which is a problem, I sling my ring off and I lost it one time for like three months at my old school. So I don't even put it on anymore. That's really not an excuse. And she doesn't wear hers because I don't know why. Because I'm at home and I'm on quarantine. <laughs> You don't want to travel. When I go out in public, I wear my ring. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, so so what are some things you've been doing? I know, so you, we're doing digital learning, so my wife's a second grade teacher. I am. So kind of tell them what you do. Well, my fabulous second grade team, we have worked together to create these amazing online digital lessons. Boring. And, <laughs> Boring. and so when it's digital learning time, we are on the computer off and on all day answering questions from parents who are losing their minds, going crazy. Um, Is it not hilarious? We still have, we are those still that, having meetings with administrators. Yeah, yeah. Well, we got to get paid. Yeah, and that's how, we're but still what's funny to me is that we that. secretly, behind the scenes, we're like, we, we know that parents appreciate us even more now. Wait, there's some awesome memes out there about homeschooling. I love it. Y yes, it's like uh, this, this little lady, she goes, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I thought that teacher at the daycare was lying about my baby granddaughter. But the COVID-19 has proven everything true. This was, that yeah. was on uh, TikTok the other day. But so, so she's been doing a lot of that stuff, but now this week is like spring break for us. Which spring we, break, so. We, normally we would probably go on a trip or you'd go somewhere with your mom. Yeah, so um, spring break is usually when Jason and Joshua go to Universal on their man trip. And I always go with my mom to my grandmother's house in Virginia when my grandmother is now living in Tennessee. 97 years young. She's doing awesome. She's yep. great. She's in an assisted living place. But healthy Love you, Grandma course. Maddie. I don't think you ever watch this, but hey. But we were going to go to her house because we sold her house, which is really sad. I mean, she's been in that house since I can remember. The 1800s. No, not that long. But, um, <laughs> but anyhow, She is 97. We were gonna go and help clean it out, pack it up, get, our, fact, get the stuff we need. Fun fact about Grandma Meddy, who's 97 years young, is that she was a secretary during the Mercury missions. For Na NASA, For yes. NASA. She retired from NASA. She knew all of the biggest she astronauts. She to meet them, yeah. Yes, you know, they were hitting on her because she was like super duper fine when she was younger. Is that weird? <laughs> She was a hot. She was hot back then, right? I mean, she was. But she was a, you shouldn't say hot about oh. my grandma. <laughs> well, I'm just saying you get your looks from your mom and your grandma. So, I mean, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. She's a 
fine. I feel like this video is thrilling. <laughs> you're losing, you're losing listeners left and right. I don't have listeners. I have watchers. Watchers, sorry. <laughs> watchers in the Wait. woods. <laughs> <laughs> that, but, watchers in the. You need to see if that's on Disney. Plus. You know it's on there. It's got to be on there. I looked for it. I couldn't find it. That was one of my favorite movies when I was a little girl. Today's is actually going to be huge because not only is she doing a YouTube video with me, but she's going to do... I don't know. I haven't decided The yet. podcast with me tonight Depends. because my friends are asking for her to be on the podcast. They want her to be on there. But so one of the cool things, I've been really like, okay, you can tell him I've been a little bit depressed. I, I'm not going to lie to y'all. He has been. I've, yeah, he really has been. And he's not like that normally. Yeah, they but, know that. Um, I'm a silly goose. It's just weird. I mean, I am a homebody. I love to be at home. And I can't wait for, my favorite day is a day that we have nothing to do. And I can literally stay in my house all day long, not have to go anywhere. But I mean, it's. It's a lot. Like I'm, I'm over. I'm, I'm, I'm bored. I'm ready to do something. And it's what April, the beginning of April, and we're we out got a long the haul. rest of the year in the summer. And I mean, hopefully this thing is gone by the beginning of summer. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Well, I think that's just been like I want to do videos. I've been wanting to do content. But I, uh, I did a life thing the other night, and I said I just felt guilty doing something and being silly which is normally what i do is upbeat and do unboxings which i still have a lot to do but it's hard for me to do unboxings and have fun when i feel like i'm just kind of like i shouldn't be like i feel guilty but i found a way around it okay i found a way around i can still do cool and fun things i'm going to show you guys something i've been doing in my and uh, if you saw in the intro my wife <laughs> she had on a mask yeah, okay so, so talk to him about that and then i'll show so, him what we've done um we all know that those healthcare workers, well, <laughs> sorry, that they are wearing masks and the masks go all day, every day. Yeah, behind your ear, which this is probably not even. Honestly, I mean, that's probably what they're using right now because they don't have the N95 masks. So it's a version of this. But if you can imagine that strap being around your ear, I mean, and I'm sure you guys have seen videos and things where nurses and different people who are wearing the mask it's really like making the back of their ears raw mm -hmm. and so it's painful like to wear these masks day in and day out so jason i don't even know did you see this even... online or how did you well okay so the n95 mask and the shield mask there have been a uh... Uh, Prusa has been had put a file out there for people to print, but it's for the hard plastic face shields. It's the headpiece and the bottom piece for a plastic shield, like a, a like a fiberglass or a plexiglass shield. And I'm like, well, I could print those little pieces for the headbands and for that, but they're not even, a lot of doctors and nurses are not able to get those uh, shields anyway, but they are able to get the N95 masks. Some are able to get those and get that. And so I thought, well, I could learn how to sew and make those cloth masks, but I just thought, well, I know most of them have those. And I found a, a file online that looked really simplistic to print. And I thought, you know, I could tackle this and a lot some of my 3d printers to make them so i'm gonna show you all what it is it's really simple actually um i've got several different colors but i took uh, two of my uh, 3d printers and basically these take about two and a half hours to print so if you guys can kind of see them they're basically let's see if it'll focus. focus in on it no maybe not all right so you get the idea but they're they're just made out of plastic pla and what it does is basically a back strap for your head you just place this on the back of your head and you she's gonna show you how it works so now how do you so so you don't put it you okay yeah so you wrap around first and then you get it to where you want it as tight as you want and then pull that down and then you can turn around and let them kind of see so that's on the back so she can make this tighter or loose however she wants she can go all the way uh to this tightness if she needs to and then make it as tight or as loose as she needs turn back around and then when she's done using that she's not she doesn't have it on her ears you know and if she had her hair up in a ponytail or if she had a hairnet or something like that she could do that now when she's ready to take it off she just takes it off the loop wraps around the loop she just takes it off that throws this this part away, the mask part. Here, I'll let you do that. Take it off. And then she just takes this and wipes it down with some type of disinfectant and, you know, use it for the next time. But it, but it can work for people that are wearing hats. So I'm printing these for doctors, nurses, first responders, police officers, 
firemen, who, whomever could utilize these. So what I'm currently doing, I'm, I'm trying to print a couple of hundred for a nearby uh, doctors uh, or for this emergency for the hospital, room, for the hospital. Uh -huh. and I'm gonna probably do give them a couple hundred of these and they could just reuse these wipe them down and reuse them and just give them out to everybody and they can have their own one put it in their pocket and have it for the whole day wipe it down at the end of the day and then I'm also doing them for the sheriff's department here in town I'm gonna probably try to outfit everybody with at least one that that's at least gonna have to be wearing these because again it just makes their ears sore but mm -hmm. this is just a cool thing and you know I don't want any credit for this because a lot of 3d printing people are trying to reach out to people to do things like this but I don't know I just thought I was feeling kind of depressed and I thought you know I've got to be able to do something because I'm a I'm a I'm a person who wants to be a helper except for when my wife wants to do yard work but this is a way that I can it's use a my selectional helper yes but it's a way for me to kind of do something to give back to people because honestly this is you know, I've shown this to a few people, and it's, it, this is not my idea. The idea of doing it for the people that I that you I feel like to give you, credit to who created this. I don't, I don't know because it's been it's been changed so many different times. This one was redone on Thingiverse, so I found it on Thingiverse. It's a free 3D file, and but it's been changed and and. and They've made different modified. versions, modified, made different, thank you, made different versions of it. But this one I thought was the best because it's reinforced the plastic pieces. Y'all can't see. Maybe I'll put some photos on here so you can kind of see what they look Definitely like. It, it's sturdy. It's yeah, sturdy. It's now you can't pinch sturdy. it completely in half. It'll snap. But again, I've got a pretty big head and it, it doesn't flex, but maybe just a little bit on mine on the last setting. And I still have plenty of room. And I've seen people who are sewing like, you know, cloth almost looks with little buttons that's another cute yeah. thing to you the cool thing yeah a lot of people like with long hair are wearing uh wearing a a headband with a button on the side and wrapping mm -hmm. around that you could utilize that but for people like you they can't really wear your hair in a ponytail or maybe not going to wear a um a headband and have to deal with that washing that and keeping that disinfected this is simple this yeah, is easy i can just wipe it down but anyway that's one way to kind yeah. of you know feel like i'm doing something i guess and not just being a complete uh slob <laughs> I mean, we are doing a lot of cleaning and things and and i don't know like my wife and i both being teachers what do i mean what are some things that maybe you could tell them about how we manage being teachers having the same schedules and being married for 20 years well i mean we're pretty used to because we do have the exact same schedule so we're pretty used to being home at the same time um Luckily, we have a house that Jason has his little area, and I have my little area. You say little area, but then you so, made fun of it today. Um, but yeah, so we're used to being around each other. I I've love being a, around Jason. I've got a huge studio. I area. love, mm -hmm. I love my child being home. Yeah. Um, even though he, you know, he's antisocial, but whatever. <laughs> we we try. Yeah, to he pretty much he does his college work, and then he just locks himself in his room and plays video he games. He doesn't lock himself in his room. He shuts he, his door. Yeah. Because the diddler, the, the Sadie, the, the pee, pee bandit wants to go in there and pee on everything and introduce her pee to everything. But so yeah, that's kind of what we're doing. But like uh, you just started a puzzle. So that's something maybe for you guys yeah. that puzzle. have never done a puzzle. Board games. We started watching a new series. Oh yeah, we did. But you know, honestly, I can only sit on the couch so long before I start feeling just worthless. Yeah, I think that's what today was for I me. Know. I had just, to do I something. Mean, I've, we've been trying to go outside a little bit, but the pollen right now in Georgia is oh crazy. Yeah. So every time we go outside, our eyes itch and water. And <laughs> I know, and I'm not making fun so. of it, but if you're like us, every time I come in and I get a sniff, sniffle, a sneeze, a runny nose, a stuffy nose, I get that oh crap moment that I'm like, oh my gosh, uh, you know, because I'm the only one that's going out and getting groceries when, when I do go out. Now, we've been ordering groceries, which mm -hmm. is something, a tip for you guys that are stuck inside. If you've got a local place that's doing uh, Instacart and they can actually deliver things, I would suggest doing that. I did that. some shopping at Kirkland's today. Mm -hmm. Bought some home decor. Should be coming soon. I'm just hearing about this for the first time. No, yeah, you were sitting right there beside me on the couch. That doesn't mean I saw you buying things. Oh, well, that's okay. Look, I buy stuff see too. See all that back there? <laughs> I can get my home decor. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna say anything because yes, I do. I spend, but uh, but anyway, that's another matter. But I think being around you is fun. One, you're my best friend. 
You're my best friend too. <laughs> That's so cheesy. But you are my right. best friend. But I, I feel like this video is really long. Well, it's supposed to be. Why? Because no, the longer, the longer. No, I promise you, this will be. This will probably be my most uh -huh. highly watched video. I Prove me wrong. So the more the. No, it's awesome. People love to see happily married people together. <laughs> it's all a sham. <laughs> No, but but this will be a so prove her wrong. Okay, share this video, reach out, share it to people because honestly, being stuck at home is tough with everybody. You know, obviously, we're we're blessed to have a, a large enough space that we can kind of get away from one each other, one another for a little bit here and there. Um, but again, when we're together, I feel like we get along pretty good as long mm -hmm. as I do what she tells me to do. She says anyway, which only works half the time. You know. I am I, I am a typical man, very typical. <laughs> so anyway, for you guys that are stuck at home, find some fun things to do. Maybe leave us some messages down below, some things that you've done at home that are kind of interesting or fun. Uh, you know, kind of make, be sure if you like this video and you want to see more of my wife on the videos, maybe a, a question and answer, maybe post some questions on our Instagram if you guys would like that. Or maybe I can sucker her into doing more videos with me because I think she's going to really give me a little bit of uh, clout here because she's so pretty and she'll make my, my, my videos much better. So maybe if you guys like those kind of videos, let us know, but be sure and hit the thumbs up, hit the post notifications so you know when this new content's coming out, and hopefully I'll be dropping more videos more often with you guys. So anyway, that's it for me and P3D. This my, was fun. This I, was fun. Yeah. Bye. Nice See to you next time. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>